Okay, so welcome back. Um, in the last couple parts, I looked, I did a review of this Bell Plus Howell light bar with um, 60 LEDs. And we mentioned that it's basically a portable device with some batteries. And um, really, it wasn't what I need. I need something you just plug into the wall outlet and turn it on and you can use it. The battery seemed to take a long time to charge and it only lasted for like five hours. So it really wasn't useful. So I talked about completely remodeling this and uh, tearing it apart and rebuilding it. So um, in this final video, I'm going to show you what I ended up with. I got some parts off of uh, eBay and um, pretty much ripped everything out and rebuilt it so that I can just uh, power it from a wall adapter. And I've got an on off switch and it's ready to go. Okay, so here's the Bell Plus Howell uh, LED strip. And in the previous videos, I showed the internals of this and it had some batteries. And I mentioned I wanted to redesign it to get rid of the batteries because I didn't need the batteries. And I just want to be able to plug it into the wall outlet and turn it on and use it like any bench light. So you can see here, same box, everything, but these are different. What I've done is I've added a, a female uh, connector to connect a, a, a wall adapter and also an on-off toggle switch, okay? And I actually used the existing cutouts for the, uh, this was a cutout for the AC wire plug-in and this was for the slide switch that apparently wasn't working. So I got rid of the slide switch and I got rid of the AC connector and bought a little toggle switch. You can get a bunch of these on uh, Amazon for Peanuts, very nice little toggle switch. And this is a, uh, I believe, five and a half millimeter uh, female plug you can get for power adapters. And that's it. So the goal is to use it with something like this. And this is a, a 120 volt to 12 volt DC, and it's rated two amps. All right, so I just have to plug this in to this plug and I'm ready to go. Just turn on the power and it works. So let me show you the inside of this uh, and what I've done. Basically, I've gotten rid of everything that was on the inside of this. And here you go. Um, again, here's the, here's the wires going to the uh, 60 LEDs. And here is my on-off toggle switch. And I've just wired that up. And here's my female connector for the 12 volts coming in. And what I've done here is I bought on Amazon, you can buy four of these for, I don't know, 10 or $15 total. And it's basically a buck converter. So I'm taking my 12 volts coming in to the buck converter and out of it, I am adjusting it so that it gives me the 3.3 volts needed to feed this array of LEDs. And it's fairly simple to adjust. You just take a little screwdriver and this device right here is a variable resistor where you can adjust the output. And here is the, um, here's the buck converter as it comes out of the package. And you can see right here I've got the um, screw to adjust the output. And that's basically it. It's a very simple, easy device. And it's got a very wide range of input and you can adjust the output as whatever you want. Okay, so here is the um, the buck converter I got from Amazon. You can see you get four of them, uh, 14 bucks, and um, they have an input that goes between 4 volts and 38 volts. So you can use just about any wall adapter you want to give you um, DC out of the wall adapter. And it steps it down from 1.25 to 36 volts DC. Um, and it's five amps rated, so it's really nice. I, I, you get four of them in a, in a package. And um, again, it's got this variable resistor in here to adjust. You, you hook up your primary, and then you measure on a voltmeter what the secondary is, and you just adjust this variable resistor down till it's where you want it to be. And that's about it. Now, keep in mind, um, this is a continuously variable resistor. It keeps turning and turning. So if you want the voltage to go up, you turn it clockwise. And if you want it to go down, you turn it counterclockwise. 
So you may have to make a bunch of turns to see any uh, results. But anyway, um, there's other there's other options here. I just thought I'd give you an idea of uh, one of the options to get a buck converter. Okay, so I've plugged the adapter into the wall outlet, and here is the 12 volt DC coming in. Now I'll plug it into this, and um, I've got the on off switch, turn it on, and there you go. Uh, this is providing 3.3 volts to this array of LEDs, and probably drawing a third of an amp, maybe half an amp, something like that. And it's basically this buck converter. Now you can use a ad different adapter, this is 12 volts. Uh, you can use up to, I believe, 48 volts on the input, and all you have to do is adjust this um, resistor, variable resistor, to adjust how much is coming out. So, uh, in this case, I only needed about 3.3 volts. So, that's it. Um, to me, it's a lot more functional now. I could just uh, hook it up near the bench, plug it into a wall adapter, and you're good to go. I could have used 12 volts, I could use a 9 volt adapter and just vary this um, resistor, variable resistor, to change um, what the output is. So that's about it. Hope it helps. Take care and have a good day. Thanks.